वेलकम बैक टू अवर क्लास रूम के वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट बोर्ड क्वेश्चन पेपर ओके फ्रॉम द चैप्टर मैग्नेटिक इफेक्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करंट लेट मूव ऑन टू द फर्स्ट वन व्हाट इज सोलिनाइट ड्रा द पैटर्न ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड लाइंस फर्स्ट वन इज करंट कैरिंग सोलिनाइट एंड द सेकंड वन इज अ बार मैग्नेट and list two discrete using features between the two fields and we know the answer apart we know the answer from what is solenoid and we can able to draw the pattern of magnetic fields in current carrying solenoid and bar magnet and the question is to still now they are asking list two discrete using features between these two fields as we know that the solenoid will behave like a bar magnet yes we have seen while we were watching the video the solenoid of it in that time i will explain the solenoid is will be behave as a bar magnet but they here they are asking a difference between a bar magnet and solenoid that's why i am said the question is slightly twisted here right okay now we move on to the answer part so what is solenoid as we know that the solenoid is a number of coils right number of coil which is insulated by a wire and it is wound on a insulator right so how do i understand it mean as in that this pvc pipe and insulating material too. okay a strain recall insulating material so and here we have some wires okay this wire is insulated by some insulating material so what we are going to do we are making number of turns okay first turn second turn third turn fourth turn fifth turn similarly we can go right so this is we are saying that solenoid these are all the white colors are the coils which is wounded in the cylindrical shape of insulator wire and this wire is also wounded by insulating material so Here I wrote the coil of the coil of many circular coil of insulator are turned. You can use a many circular turn of insulated copper wire wound on cylindrical insulating body, right? And compare this is the diameter of this cylindrical wire, right? But the length is this part. Which one is greater? Yes, of course. This length is greater. Well, the diameter is smaller when compared to the length. That's what I wrote here, such that its length is greater than its diameter, right? So this is the solenoid definition. Now we move on to the second part of this question. Draw the pattern of magnetic field lines, a current carrying solenoid, and a bar magnet, right? So this is the current carrying solenoid, and this is the bar magnet, right? so here we have the number of coils which is n number of turns right this is stated by wire which is on the cylindrical insulating body right so here we are passing the current what will happen of course we know that due to passing the current the solenoid inside the solenoid the magnetic field is uniform the magnetic field is uniform means inside inside the solenoid means this area right so these are the coils inside the all the field lines are uniform how we are saying uniform because all those lines are parallel to each other that's why we are saying that the field lines inside the solenoid is uniform right okay and when we are check outside the solenoid what will happen yes outside the solenoid it will be drastically decreases right so when you compare exactly inside the solenoid right not this end and this end in between these two ends the uni magnetic field is uniform but exactly at the end of the solenoid it should be the half of the maximum value right so for example inside the magnetic field is two tesla means the end of this end of this solenoid side and end of this solenoid it becomes one tesla so it's clear so two tesla is uniform magnetic field inside the solenoid the end of the solenoid will be become will become One Tesla because the half of the values get reduced by naturally, right? And outside, if you are looking that it will be decreases, right? So the diagram is indicating here. It shows that 
it starts from here and reaches here, right? And come back to here, right? And similarly, this side we know that like that. Now, why are they going to ask which is an asymptote which is soft pole? As we have discussed in the earlier cases, right? So, if a current is passing through from positive terminal to negative terminal, the current will flow in that direction, right? Yes, current will flow in that direction. Then our thumb is indicating north and this one will indicating south pole, right? And moving back to bar magnet. So inside the bar magnet, the magnetic field lines are start from south to north and outside starts from north to south. Now compare these two diagram, this solenoid will be behave as a bar magnet because inside the uniform is magnetic field is uniform, here also the magnetic field is uniform and here we have the curtains as like that in bar magnet, right? Yes, the magnetic field lines are curved ones and here also curved ones. That's why we are saying that the solenoid will be behave as a bar magnet, right? Now, we move on to the third one. A list two distinguishing features between the two fields, right? So what are the what are the two difference? Can you? Okay. So I will write it on the board and we will see, right? Yeah. Here we are going to discuss about the difference between the magnetic field lines which is produced in current carrying solenoid and the bar magnet, right? The first distribution, the first difference, the polarity of solenoid can be reversed by reversing the current. Yes. So here the polarity means north and south pole. So the north and south pole can be reversed by reversing the current. Right. So for better understanding, that's why you know, I did not rub the diagram. So here we have north pole and south pole, right? The current is passing that direction. Suppose if I want to change the direction of the polarity of this uh, solenoid, I want this one become south pole and this one become north pole. That time I need to reverse the current. The positive will be goes this direction and the negative will come down to this direction. The battery connection will be the battery connection I have to change it as as like that. Okay. In that time, the current will st go, it starts from this direction to in this direction. That, that time, it will be acted as south pole and it will be acted as north pole, right? So, when you are changing the reversing current, right? Direction of current, if you are changing, that time, the polarity of the solenoid also changes. Coming back to the bar magnet, it never happened because we cannot be able to change the north and south pole of the bar magnet. Right? And the second point, the magnetic field strength of current carrying solenoid can change. How? Yes, this is a concept we have studied earlier. If the current is more, what will happen? Magnetic field will become more, right? Yes. So if the current is more, if you are passing more current, then the magnetic field inside the solenoid will also increase. That's why we are saying that the magnetic field strength of current carrying solenoid is can change but in bar magnet we cannot be able to change because it is a piece of bar magnet we cannot be able to change the, the strength of the magnetic field of bar magnet that's why i wrote the magnetic field strength of a bar magnet cannot change we cannot give current for the bar magnet right okay and the third point the magnetic field outside the solenoid is weak that means this area this region is very weak when compared to bar magnet Bar magnet is easily attract when any magnetic material is near here. That time the bar magnet will attract, but the solenoid will exert some magnetic force that is very small amount. That's why I wrote the magnetic field outside the solenoid is weak. And when come back to bar magnet, or if you compare with the bar magnet, the magnetic field outside the bar magnet is strong when compared to solenoid. Yes. When compared to solenoid, the outside the magnetic field value is greater when compared to solenoid. Yes, I hope you understand the difference between a magnetic field lines, current carrying solenoid and a bar magnet. You know the similarities. In addition to that, here I explained 
the difference between a current carrying solenoid and bar magnet of magnetic field lines. I hope you really enjoyed and understood well. Thank you. See you in the next video.